It's the morning after lead zookeeper Stacy Conweiser was killed by one of the tigers that were her responsibility and her joy. The zoo is closed to the public, the usually packed parking lot nearly empty, as fellow keepers, including Conweiser's husband Jeremy, slip inside to comfort one another. Meantime, at the Science Center right next door, where a kids' engineering contest is underway, it's a whole different world. Countdown! Many of those who came to this event also frequent the zoo, have seen Conweiser's popular tiger talks, and were understandably shocked to hear about her death. Oh my God, I'm very sorry for her. Very, very sorry. I think it's pretty tragic. The, like, the zookeeper has been doing it for a while and just suddenly gets attacked. The zoo is not releasing many details, but a spokeswoman says the 38-year-old Conweiser was preparing the backstage area for the night following the usual safety protocols when the tiger attacked her. The animal was sedated, not put down, and is still at the zoo as the investigation continues. Some safety experts have criticized the routine here, and many of those who frequent the zoo have questions too. Because I thought she was like behind the gate. It should be more like precautions to like the zoo workers, like so like stuff like this doesn't happen. Conweiser wasn't planning to work at the Palm Beach Zoo for much longer. She had just accepted a new job with the FDA, hoping to eventually work for the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. Instead, her family is now planning her funeral. This is Cheryl Conn reporting for WPB-TV.